Okay, Journey to Jabiro going. 79 of the Universal Century. A half century has passed since Earth began moving its burgeoning population into Did you hear that or is it like a month of the planet float hundreds of enormous oh, wow. centers with artificial living environments so that people can live in the game or is it like a awful mess? It's still loading for me. A cluster of oh, colonies furthest okay, from the Earth well called Side 3. Okay, now I can hear it. The Principality yeah. of Z and see it. And launched a war of independence against the Earth Federation. Okay, I'm just playing it in like 540 right now. Half their <laughs> People were so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do lossless scaling. I'm gonna scale it. That's horrifying. That and now I should play it in 1080. Eight months had passed. Okay, it's being displayed in 1080. Does it make sense? It's 960 by 672, but that's the AI that's being added. Journey to Jabudo being played. It seems like it's like slowing down a little bit. Yeah, no, maybe not now. I accidentally slowed it down by accident. Let me unscale it. I think it should be more than likely like capable of like playing it without like all the heavy lifting. It's a pretty beefy raid, let me say. Let me switch this. I'm gonna switch to once again 2060. Okay, it's being played in like 2060 right now. We're gonna see more casualties if we don't do something better inform Commander Shaw. Does it look any different? You're only going to be able to see it in 720 because I think that's like the limit that oh. I stream. Seems, seems like, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's the video itself, if, like, if, it's, if it's the pre-rendered video or it's like, it's slowed. I don't know, it feels like it should be a little faster. Again, he's too fast. Okay. There's just one of them. We'll attack him from is there anything happening with the streaming part? Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna change it to 1080. Okay, how about that? Yeah, it might be the game. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't but the thing is, the, the only thing you're gonna see is 720 because that's the maximum for me. I, I have my settings capped at 720. People that are gonna see this are only gonna see it at 1080. Something dropped. They're gonna see like, Amuro, oh, don't get any closer! Commander Sean! Sean, I'm gonna defeat you! On the red mobile suit Gundam! He's a jerk! We gotta take him down! I'm trying to get through like the entire like Gundam like show by playing this game. This is like Gundam for me. Because right now the, the frame rate is like 30 frames, so you should be able to see this more or less. Uh, I'm gonna play through the story mode because that's what I'm playing through right now. I'm like half, I think I'm like halfway through the story. But for the purposes of this recording, let's just go check up our settings right now to avoid any type of issues. Uh, look at the other deluge of memories that the character can like go through. Of course, we all have to start at the beginning. I don't know. Something's up with my save file. Let's just uh, start a new game. Universal Century 0079, September 18th. The Federation Forces' top-of-the-line warship, the White Base, which launched from headquarters in Jaburo, was on a mission to take possession of the Gundam, the gun tank, and the gun cannon, the Federation's first prototype mobile suits. The ship was docked at Side 7, the mobile suit's final testing area. Unfortunately, the ship was spotted by a squadron led by Lieutenant Commander Shar Aznabal. Also, My name's gonna come up a lot. Comet. Shar dispatched three Zaku mobile suits with strict orders to reconnaissance inside the space colony. Oh, they're trying to move Mad Decree. They think the damn boy, we're about to hit this lick.
Oh shit, they better move. Yo. Having spotted the prototype mobile suits and hungry for glory, the Zaku pilots took the initiative and attacked the area. The assault caught the Federation by surprise, and the situation proved disastrous. Among the terrified civilians fleeing to safety was one rather ordinary young man. Mm, ordinary. Scared of the oh. Dang. Frobo! Hey, can you hear me, Frau? Amaro! Um, you gotta remain strong for me. Run to the spaceport. I'll catch up. Now go! Go on, Frobo! Run! Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Like, what the fuck? Why are you just, like, standing there walking? You're just gonna get in there and start moving and everything, huh? Ooh, I like the diegetic interface. Am I gonna make it in time? There are two Zeonzakus. What do I have for weapons? A beam rifle, huh? But I can't use that inside the car. A Vulcan. The beam saber. Vulcans and a beam saber. I think I can do something with these. You're gonna be fine. Okay, Zakus, watch out. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense to have like most of this stuff like available immediately, because like <laughs> you could hurt somebody. Okay, so I'm guessing mission briefing is where you have your stuff. Okay. Not gonna do that cutscene again. Alright, cool. Your allies are like other people that are gonna be there. Just solo dolo this time around. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, ain't no need for other setups because you are the setup right now. Not a setup for victory, you feel me? Thus begins the journey of a thousand steps, I suppose. Ooh. Gundam Rising. I like the little effects that they have here. It makes it feel like if I were to watch the show, it would be something similar. Here we go. That early launch video game Hogo Jank, baby. Love that PS2 era. Please get up. Come on. I would have never thought this was a PS1 game. Oh, it's one of those games where things happen and dialogue is expressed through gameplay. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, we, we could work with that. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take this guy out. Ooh, it looks like the game is just gonna have clipping voices. That's, that's just gonna be a thing. Okay. Oh, it's kinda... Hmm. We could work with this, but I was expecting the mastering to be a little bit better. Just caught my first body. Oh no, that was a fellow Gene? I'm sorry, Gene. From one Gene to another, I had to take this baddie. Alright, let's take this guy out. It looks like the controls are somewhat similar. I can move forward, backwards, by pressing. You don't use the analog stick, contrary to popular belief. You actually just use, um. I think it's the directional pad. Yeah, there we go. And then if you move left and right, it actually just turns the mobile suit. You would have to like strafe left and right by using uh, R1 and L1. And then in order for me to lock on, I would have to press L2. Understandably, this would be like a very clunky control scheme for someone that's just trying to get a better grasp on like how to use the Gundam. And how to, how, to, how to pilot a mobile suit fighter. Now, mind you, I'm like six hours in, I'm just doing things practically the right way in order to uh, catch people up on speed to show you what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, thank you for your continued sense. This is much appreciated. Matters to talk him into getting pushed to talk for now. I pulled it off somehow. Yeah! I really did it! Woohoo! 
Let's go, Aburo. Nice work. I had a good feeling about this one. Next time I'll be counting on you, but don't let your guard down. Yeah, I mean, compared to the last score that I got, I got like a name minus, but like, it, yo, I was on some like real G shit when I was playing it last time. I guess uh, there's some sort of grading system depending on how fast you are in order to get this thing done properly. Kid named Amaro Ray. Thanks to his actions in the Gundam, we somehow managed to survive the Xeon attack. Yep. However, during the battle, most of the regular soldiers were either wiped out or wounded. Mm. Of those fit for combat, barely a handful were left. This is how civilians came to operate the Federation's latest warship, the White Base, and its prototype mobile suits, including the Gundam. This highly classified military hardware was now in the hands of young men and women who were still only teenagers. That always goes well. Drop it now! Take off the helmet and turn the other way! They have no she's much too strong to be Artesia. Hmm? Is that my brother? That's totally not gonna get followed up on. After leaving side seven, the white base escaped into the frontline space base Luna 2. We were subsequently ordered to head for Jaburo, Federation Forces General Headquarters in South America. The order was issued by Commandant Joaquin, and so the White Base set out once again, this time bound for Earth. But Shar would not sit idly by and watch it happen. That's an now intimidating as our... Let's test the reaction time of your brand new mobile suit. The ship will re-enter Earth's atmosphere in eight minutes. Launch now, Gundam. Slow down those Zakus. Just watch your altitude. Otherwise, you'll burn up in the atmosphere. How am I going to watch my altitude when I'm fighting four Zeon Zakus? I know you can do it, Amaro. I'm in way over my head. Step onto the catapult. Gundam, I'm ready. Despite Shar's relentless pursuit, we evaded his attack and were able to enter Earth's atmosphere. Please help me, sir! I can't seem to slow my Zaku down! Commander Shar, bring the ship and rescue me! Crown, we can't open our capsule or we'll burn up too. Oh but no. But you did lure the enemy down with you. Death with honor. Wow. The way For the glory! A successful yeah. re-entry marking the beginning of our odyssey to Jaburo. Amaro and the Gundam also managed to make it through alive. It was Ooh. a small victory for our side. However, Shar proved to be more than a match for us. His attack threw the ship off its intended course. We were now far from our goal. Instead, we found ourselves right in the middle of Xeon controlled territory. South America doesn't seem that bad. Maybe the Red Comet was right. Compared to other Federation ships I fought against in the past, this one does look like it'll be a real beast. Well, I mean, after proverbially throwing your mans to the wolves, I can see why a lot of people have mixed feelings about this dude, Shar. I mean, this is one huge knowledge check for the people that haven't have seen the show, so, are yeah. currently positioned above us. Since the white base is following this cliff, it's only a matter of time before we're destroyed. For that reason, I've decided to stage a counterattack with everything we've got before they can make their forces ready. Ryu and Hayato. You'll go out on the gun tank and give the white base some backup. Leave it to us, Mr. Bright. I'll have Hayato be the gunner. Yes, sir. Furthermore, it's very likely that the enemy has also stationed ground forces along our course. Amaro and the Gundam will clear our path. Kai and the gun cannon will provide support for the Gundam. Any questions? I'll do what I can. I guess my opinion's got nothing to do with anything. But look, Mr. Bright, all I'm gonna do is fire my guns from underneath white base. That's it. We're not gonna get our pensions if we kick the bucket now, will we? I'll <laughs> handle the paperwork. All hands, prepare for launch. I'm counting on you. All right, as long as uh, we, we do the fall guy-ish, we should be fine. What we finna do right now, I'm just checking out the allies that are finally gonna be helping me out. I got the white base, the gun cannon, gun tank. 
uh, we had an option to choose which of our preferred weapons of choice we can use uh, to settle this matter pretty promptly. We have a beam rifle there, so we're just going to stick with the standard beam cannon. Because we have the rifle, we can finally use it in combat scenarios, so let's get started. Winds of war. They say wars are coming. What they don't know is that it tends to happen very, very frequently. Only this thing descent. could finish loading. That's one thing I don't miss anymore. Freaking long loading screens of these PS2 hogos. Try to have a little more confidence in us, Kai. You always know how to make me feel better, Sailor. Kai, we're counting on you. I'll try my luck at it. Launching. Course is clear. Amuro, be careful. Thanks. Go! Very hearty yell. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, yo. Big video game landscape energy right now. He's firing at Ish. I'm gonna keep track of like mad enemies that are like in front of me if I see anything. I try to speed this up a little bit. Lock it on. The enemies. Hmm, that's weird. So I gotta keep an eye on like the enemies that pop up because it looks like they have like a two in one thingy. It's like a tank that starts flying. So yeah, if I can get like more than one of those, that'll be cool. They're heading towards white base, so yeah, I should probably hang back and defend this thing a bit. Very, very not cool of them. Yeah, yeah I also have to reload too. There's a, there's a cooldown effect, because you can't just keep firing liquid plasma rounds at people for too long. I'm trying to engage like very closely. I got him with a lucky hit. I think he's taking down. Right, let me see where the rest of these joints are at. Mm -hmm. Love the movie. Where's Hayato? I mean, he's probably around. There he is. Oh, no. what, what are you doing all the way over there? Okay, there's just a squad of them here. Kind of really kicking myself for not switching to like a different weapon. I mean, sure, I, I, I guess it's fine to just have the beam saber, but then I should wait until when I lock on, and then I lock on to the other fighter. So that way, I won't be wasting the the rounds. And so we're just floating in place. Okay. Okay. I would say why it's just standing there, but then again, I can just sort of get it. AI wasn't exactly super advanced like that on the PS2, just starting out. And people were still, you know, surprised they could even get the thing to like run. Fifty percent damage off of like nothing? What the hell? I should probably move closer. No way in hell am I catching up to that. If I move too quickly then I'll like wear out the thrusters. That's never good. What the hell are you doing, Hayato? Shit. He's not playing now. I'm gonna have to take a third. Oh shit, the squadron leader. Okay. I was about to say, why was it taking so long? All units, watch out for that white one. Oh. Take out the Trojan horse and stop those mobile suits too. Garma, what's he doing here? I'm in right now. Enemy 
Where did he go? Okay, he's behind me. Let me see. I can't see him on there. Fudge. Oh, there he is. Okay. Ran up in a grand club. Take some more of these. Okay, hit with the back. Oh, I can't hit him with the back shots. Okay, pause. Ah, there he is. Come here. Hmm. All right. Another meaty blue. Karma, fall back. I'll draw him off. Thanks, Shark. God damn it. It's that Zaku again. Now, oh. white mobile suit. How about we test your reaction time on Terra Firma? Oh, it's on. I don't see why they call this guy the Red Comet. He seems to do a good job at dodging, but what happens if I get real close and shoot him in the face? I think we broke him. Literally taking gunshots to the face, pause. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to break the AI that quickly. I guess the good old blam him in the face strategy always works. How did that happen? Char, retreat! We're gonna have to reassess that mobile suit and come up with a better strategy. Yes, I'll retreat, Garma. Amaro, the enemy is retreating. Return to the ship. Good work. Okay. I mean, that is a really good looking design for an enemy character, you did though. great out there, Amaro. With you and the Gundam on our side, the Federation can win this war. B stands for Big Boss Energy. Let's try to get more of those. Alright, let me save. I hope I got my memory card plugged in properly. We can continue from the next story from here. Oh boy. White Base suffered heavy damage in an attack by a battalion led by Garma Zabi, son of Dagwin Zabi. The I mean, that's kind of like my fault because I just the let them the do free range on that supply stuff. squadron led by Lieutenant Matilda Ajan for repairs and provisions. If you could prevent it, that would be crazy. Lieutenant Matilda took some of the wounded and refugees aboard her ship. The White Base was ordered to proceed westward with its remaining crew, but was given no escort. Wow, really? Lieutenant Matilda, I'm puzzled. Why aren't there new orders from HQ for our ship and crew? Yeah, it is questionable. I'm not sure, but General Revel says if the White Base can fight as a battle cruiser, then it's no different than a fully commissioned ship. The Federation forces are experiencing some very tough times. Say that Take again. Heart. When it seems there's no hope, don't forget that there are people out there who have not abandoned you. Mm. Where's Matilda? <laughs> oh, he's met. Without your fighting skills with Gundam, I'm sure my supply plane would have been destroyed. Thank you. I believe you may be a psychic. Not me. Good luck. Uh, thank you. Hey boy, if you don't start training... Stand by for orbital correction. Char, please inform me once you spot the Trojan horse or the mobile suit. I'll destroy them with the Gao. I'll do exactly as requested. Good luck to you, Char. And may the glory of victory be yours. Mm, okay, I guess you can try to see how both sides live. Still trying to make sense of how all that blends together, though. But I guess the show can pretty much uh, account for that. If we can get through this, we'll enter Federation-controlled airspace. But it looks like the enemy has set up a defense line, too. The white base will conceal itself in the dome. Then wait for a chance to attack the bulk of the enemy's main forces. Amaro, you'll attack the enemy mobile suits with the Gundam and act as a decoy until we've completed our preparations. Understood. I'm counting on you. Ryu and Hayato, stand by in the gun tank. Kai, stand by in the gun cannon. We'll wait for a chance to attack the enemy's main forces, then wipe them out in a concentrated attack. Okay, all or nothing. Let's give it a shot. I just hope we don't get blown to smithereens before we get our chance. 
Yo, hello. All right, almost playing with a full stack of cards here. We got the gun tank, the gun cannon, white base. They all have amazing, powerful abilities. Still trying to work on my own abilities properly. I'm gonna, hmm. I mean, now I have the chance to use a Mega Bazooka, so I think I should probably stick to it. You are in the Washington area after all. It is kind of shady to do such a thing. Amaro, the enemy mobile suits have dropped. We're relying on you. Roger. Launch! About to do some shiesty ish now. Okay, Lego. This is gonna be a very decree mission. Okay, where can I find them? Look, I've seen all these dilapidated buildings everywhere. This might be troublesome. Okay, I'm gonna just try to sense like movement from where they're at. You can see those uh, Zaku headlights anywhere. They're like a telltale sign. Okay, this is the drop on this thing. There we are. Damn it! Hold still. Let me hit you. There's some proto souls gameplay right here. Kids gotta watch and learn. Before people were doing spinning flips and stuff, you were, you were just hitting somebody with a standard A and B sword slash combo. That's just how it was back in the day. Where's the rest of them? Well, I should probably also keep an eye on, like, the, the bombers that are potentially attacking the white base. I see, like, a whole squad of them right now. But, mm, let me take on these Zakus. Mm. Come on. Get hit. Get three pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a little concerning. Yeah. Damn it, there's another one here too. This might be more of a problem than those bombers. Not very good. Okay, yeah, now I really gotta get to those bombers. Watch this. We're climbing. We're climbing like we might have a damage. Oh no, there's more than one. I thought I got rid of them. Damn it. Her constant updates is not helping with things. Golly, okay. There's a six. And I can't move because of this jank. Really. Come on, Bandai. This is pre Namco, so yeah, I can say Bandai. But. Oh, shit. Okay. Gotta go get the gal. There it is. I in a good way. Oh shit. The ammo and the fudge. Hold on. Let me just aim my bazooka. They're attacking from two sides. This is not good. I could land on them. Oh, they're both attacking at the same time. This is not good. Definitely not bueno. And I gotta reload too. Alright, let me see if I can get on here. Oh, uh, come on. Damn it. It's attacking. Oh, this is not good. Oh fuck, that was me. God damn it. Okay, that shit's fucking busted. Come on, get hit! Oh no. Alright, where's the rest of them? Oh lord. Give me a break. Okay, if they're not there, I can attack the ones over here. Matter of fact, I think they're going to turn around. So I will just leave it to them. 
Those two can take on the mobile suits. Or should I get a hold of that? Because if they go around, it's, it's, it's already busted. That's, it's not good to just leave them here. Hmm. Yeah, no. Th th mm, this, this plan is kind of going to shit. Foundation is gone. If they get hit with one more strike like this, it'll be over. I gotta intercept one of them. Hmm, hold on. I'm gonna get you, sucker. And this time, I'm gonna try to do things properly by not fucking messing up. Hmm. I didn't like the way that I accidentally ended up causing, like, White Base, or the facility around White Base to take a lot of damage, so I already did it. Hmm. Come on now. This one's going down. Should be over and done with. There we go. Slap a couple more times. I can literally ride this off to the sunset, but I'd rather not. Okay, there's another one here. Oh wait, where's Shar? Oh hmm, does he even know that I'm existing here? Uh, I'll just like take out some more of these other mobile suits. I don't want the other fucking reinforcements to like find out about me. I think I'm doing a good job. Half fudge. Okay, yeah, white base. Can't let white base down. Okay, roof is intact this time. If I'm here, and a suit is there. Okay, let me go in that direction. Go nab this chap. Freaking janky building fixtures. What the heck? Oh, okay. I guess he's a secret person now? Well, I mean, yeah, he, he he's in my map, but like, damn, and he's ducking and dodging me. Shit, I gotta reload. Okay, fuck. I thought if I could just, like, hold still, I'd be able to grab him. Mm. Alright, better be some armored core-ish. Just stand in one place and fire rockets at him in erratic combinations. And hopefully not get hit too much. Novsky armor is at 22%. This probably is not good. I should do something about that. As long as I keep blasting him in the face, it's totally golden though, because the bazooka works. Seems to be attempting to lure us out into the open. Which means the Trojan horse must be right behind us. Fuck. I get it. That's a pretty good strategy. The mobile suit is running away. The Trojan horse should be right up ahead. Hurry! Okay! That's not bueno. Yeah, he has a habit of, like, doing that a lot. Well, anyway, I think it's best to just face the music and watch where Garm is at. There he is. All right, bring that ass here, boy. All right, I've narrowly avoided landing on this thing. Fuck, and now I gotta wait some more. All right, no, fuck. Why did I do that? That was so boneheaded. Oh god. Okay, wait. We we can do this. We're we're still in this somehow. Okay. White base is in front. I gotta chill. Alright, yes! Back dashing works! Okay, let's try this again. Gonna blow out this back cannon. Gonna literally blow his back out paws. Alright, face the music, buddy. It's over with. All hands, concentrate your firepower on the enemy planes! Say good night, buddy. Time to hold that L. You 
did great out there, Amuro. With you and the Gundam on our side, the Federation can win this war. Cause we be better. I got a B minus, but I don't give a fudge. I did it great. Let's see what happens now. Hey, Garma, do you read me? Blame this on the misfortune of your birth. Yo. Don't take it personally. Thank your father. Char, you double crossed me. Said it was a family of losers. Oh no. Nah. Damn, you're still going for it. Oh no. I am a son of the Zabi family. I'll go in glory. And long live the principality of Sion. Sion. I mean, I I After guess. We're finally escaping Zion controlled territory. We again rendezvous with Lieutenant Matilda's supply squadron. A state funeral for Garma Zabi was held in the principality of Zion, and the proceedings were broadcast to the world. The speech given by Giran Zabi, the Zeon Force's supreme commander, made it clear how threatening the Zeons could be with the Zabi family as dictators. We have lost a hero to our glorious noble cause, but does this foreshadow our defeat? No, it is a beginning. It has been over 50 years since the elite of Earth, consumed by greed, took control of the Earth Federation. We want our freedom. Never forget how the Federation has trampled us again and again. Principality of Zeon, we've had an arduous fight to achieve freedom. Our That's a sacred, mood. Our cause divine. My beloved brother Garma Zabi was sacrificed. I ask you why? Because he was spoiled. Oh, oh. For a moment the war is at oh. a stalemate. Perhaps many of you have become complacent. Garma has left us so that you would open your eyes to the crisis that threatens us. This is only the beginning of our war. Rise, our people. Rise. Take your sorrow and turn it into anger. Zeon thirsts for the strength of its people. Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! This is a big speech. Nonsense. He's trying to turn the Zabi family into a world dictatorship. Dictatorship. There is a joke there. I'm just gonna let slide with this transition. Discovered an enemy base up ahead. It's a small scale frontline station with little strategic value, but it's too late for us to turn around and avoid it now. Fortunately, we haven't been spotted yet. The white base will hold its position here. We'll stage an attack on the enemy with the Gundam, gun cannon, and gun tank. Obliterate the base. Hey, it's a nice change of pace to be on the offensive. I'll say we're always on the receiving end of attacks. Since it's a fortress we're up against, the best strategy is to go in with the gun tank first, and we'll give it cover. You're right. If any enemy mobile suits get involved, I'll have trouble fighting them in the gun tank. How about Amuro and Kai providing backup, Mr. Bright? That okay Good with idea. you? Sure, Ryu. It's your call. Right. Then that's that. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty sound strategy. Okay, let me just go to my allies again. Gun cannon. Gun tank. Yeah, seems about right. Mm hmm Okay. Uh buy full of bazooka. I think I should go stick with the bazooka. Bazooka's been doing a pretty good job so far. It earned its cape. We might as well uh continue the missions. The threat of Zeon. Three amigops. Dang shit. Um, I don't think I need to cover him at the moment. I can just like pretty much do squad ship, but like, yeah. The fact that we're dealing with some airborne enemies is gonna make this slightly annoying. This 28-shot cannon is causing me problems. 
I mean, I'll deal with it because, like, he has hit stun, so it's like, whatever, though. No, let me hit you. I feel like I gotta like gain altitude in order to hit him. Mm. But wait, Hayato is dealing with stuff right now. I should probably go see him. Fuck, what's attacking me? Oh, right, these cannon thingies on the base. Yeah, I better assault this base. As long as I can get like pot shots at him, I think I should be fine. The lock on system is acting a little wonky, which is why I'm having trouble trying to like lock on. It's like, yeah, I wanna lock onto like one particular item. Give me a break, Vinji game. Hmm. If I attack it from this side, they're not gonna expect anything. Try to hit them with like the double attack from there. Like, no, nah, they're not gonna take that. Little by little, just take out these particular junkies that are giving me a bad time. Damn, if only I could, like, start attacking from here. But I'm gonna switch to my melee and just get in close. Oh, these guys just throw grenades. What the fudge? Oh, spoke too soon. There we are. I keep doing some pot shots at them. Because I think if I dash in close to them, I'll be in the right position to, like, slam the hit. But no, actually... They tend to back away. It's like a reflexive movement. So far, so good. I think most of the enemies have been routed. I'm still going to try to cover K, Kai and Hayato while they make an advancement. Where are you going? Hmm. Okay, so Hayato is going to be fine. Good shit, guys. Taking care of things while Hayato is uh, advancing. I'm just chilling over here. Trying to make waste to the other... They have a name for these enemies. They're not Zaku's per se. But they're like a certain model of them that just spam grenades and fire uh, weapons and stuff. Mm. Whoa, there's another one? What the fudge? Where? Who could they be? I picked up on that hazy info for some reason. Mother trucker. No. So, that's the white mobile suit that I've heard so much about. Gather all the data on the mobile suit. It's Who is this spiky mother trucker? This Zaku is spiky as heck. This guy might have a battle in front of him. I better try not to get super close to him. That might actually be a bad idea. I'll just get close enough that I can just spam um, hyper bazooka shots at him. And then just try to dash backwards every other time he tries to do something. You're not going to get the better of me this time, buddy. Damn. Isn't that good? Guys taking pot shots at me. Well, two can play at that game, Buster. I'm just gonna ban movie legitimately. Yeah, I take that. Haha. Not bad, Gundam. Harmon, we're pulling back. He said we're through. Mm, I don't know. With the way these battles are going, it could go either way. Use of Gundam's abilities. You're gaining confidence. Mm, I mean, I got a D minus compared to the D I got last time. No diddy. 
So yes, I guess I I, I should be increasing in uh, the risk factor of doing stuff. We received word that the white base would participate in Operation Odessa, the Earth Federation Force's great counteroffensive. We changed our original course for Jaburo and instead set out to cross the Pacific, making our way to Europe. Lieutenant Matilda had mentioned earlier that Amaro might be psychic. Amaro's abilities, in fact, continued to grow. The term new type was introduced, a theory of human evolution proposed by Zeon Zoom Daikun. But when one is this being displayed properly to you, or are you having trouble like catching up with it? It disrupts the harmony. Well, I mean, is it supposed to be a slideshow? Now, in his mobile something like that, yeah. Authorization. Okay, then it looks fine on my end. Very conspicuous. You're getting to watch the actual dub that was made in the 2000s. So, Mira, you really believe that Amaro is a new type? Well, I can't come up with any better explanation for the amazing things that he's done since we left Site 7. You may be right, but there's no proof. Our primary concern right now is how we're going to survive. They say that new types are the next step in human evolution. If that's what's happening to Amaro, then... We can't wait for that boy to mature. I'm going to take Amaro off the Gundam and... Right! If he feels like we're relying on him, he's going to get a swelled head and eventually do something that'll put us all in danger. Mirai, I want us to agree on this. Homero! So you overheard us. Homero! <laughs> Let him go. It's just as well, Mirai. Now we don't have to worry about explaining it all to him. I, I don't know. We had a conversation about this, but this is like one of those shows that like literally does everything. So if you watch it, it's sort of like the Princess Bride. There's another it's got mine love, like it's this, got located death, roughly it's got 50 kilometers to north, my lady. This must be it. I found the Xeon mine that General Revel plans to take on Odessa Day. If I take out this mine with Gundam, then I'll save the Federation from having to mobilize. Let's see what Bright and Mirai do then. I bet they won't mess around with me again. So the idea is that like this game is sort of like having to deal with like political conflicts from the point of view of like a 15 year old teenager. Yeah, I have I no idea what the fuck he's doing. I think I got that one. I fucking love it, bro. He's so naive. I love him. Okay, I have plenty of energy. The mining base is so huge, and their defensive firepower looks challenging. First, I'll try to target the main facility and any buildings with gun turrets. It's really the mega particle cannons that I have to watch out for, but if I hit my targets, I'm sure the whole base will be paralyzed. Okay, let's do it! Nothing can go wrong! Nothing at all whatsoever! It's gonna be great! Alright, Diego, what kind of weapons do you think I should have for this situation? Remember, it's a 2000s game, so I have to use, like, diagonal buttons to move. Cross of Sand. Oh my god. The regular frames per second is around 30 frames, so the heavy lifting is going to be done by the AI. The AI is going to do the rest of the stuff. I'm going to show Bright once and for all. I'll prove to him that I'm the best pilot for Gundam. I love the art style of this show for some reason. Alright, Diego, we're on the attack. Where should we go first? Oh. Yo! Watching Gundam! I'm gonna destroy this part because I, I think it's important. I see like red noises on top of it. Hey, they're playing the regular theme of the Gundam show. Diego, is this Toku enough for you? I mean, if there was people in suit. If there was people in suit, yeah. It's weird, because this is the only way you'll hear, like, the, the Japanese version of the theme in English speaking countries. Because they changed the intro in English. You don't hear this theme in the English version of the show. 
Power. I'm switch to the beam saber. Yeah, hit. Come on. Come on. It's like a From Software game. Come on. Get hit into my attack. gonna do when they realize he's out here doing gun blazing. Well the thing is like didn't like Captain Bright tell him not to do shit like this? Or else he would get you're him in trouble. You're asking someone who's never seen a Gundam series that wasn't Unicorn or Iron Blood Dorphins. Oh that's cool. Let me enlighten you. Okay. This is the original Gundam series. So like I figured this shit takes place before all of that. You can just literally ignore all of those in this series. But this takes place before that. So essentially right now, Amuro Ray is like a 15 year old teenager that's trying to like fight this war on his own because he's able to successfully pilot the mobile suit Gundam. The Gundam is like right. a big deal. Because yeah, I knew that. Just hey, figure. Yeah. They make a big deal about that right now. Let's see time. I save just in case. Opportune time for me to show Lady Cecilia the Adam's true potential. It's always the freaking like CPS motor. Ones that like. That's not good. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this while I was talking about Final Fantasy. More looks like the type of dude that would be in those NTR. I'm to, now it's about. 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 Looks like the game is over now. Oh man, the enemy just keeps sending in newer weapons. It's tough, but I guess I'm a man after all. But if I listen to what my team tells me, there's going to be no conflict. <laughs> and no one can die until I can have my big character arc. You think Gundam managed to do this all on its own? Can't you come up with any other possibility? Amuro doesn't even know this wasn't their main base. That's right. If it were, it wouldn't have fallen so easily to a single Gundam. What has he done? Guess we have to assume that because of Gundam, the enemy will be digging their heels in harder than ever and we'll all be paying the price. <sighs> Frau Bo! Amaro? Who does he think he is? He's so selfish! He's 
the shit. He knows how to pilot the Gundam. One of numerous mining bases operated by the Zeons. As a result of Amaro's foolish actions, the enemy was put on a heightened state of alert. This way, please, Ms. Haman. <sighs> Bartender, start us off with some good old water. Well, you don't have oh, my hormones are acting up. Give off. whatever you can, mate. Map the finest doves in the early 2000s. One, one for the young man over there. I don't uh, know how to say this. I really appreciate your generosity, but I can't accept your offer. No. I'm not a charity case, so there's no reason why you should buy me anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, the boy's got you there, Haman. This one's pretty sharp. Lieutenant, I found a suspicious character. She's just a kid. Fraubo. Well, dear, I believe she is the young man's girlfriend. Hmm. Amaro? Mm. Let the girl go. On, sir, just do it. You've got the eyes of a soldier. <laughs> that certainly takes a lot of guts, boy. I'm really impressed with you, Amaro. That's your name, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yo! He has a gun! Be on the field, it'll be different. The best of luck to you, Amaro. Uh, thanks, Mr. Romberall, and thanks, Ms. Haman. I really appreciate it. Amaro? <laughs> That That's woman good. is gonna be important in the hey, future. Sir, Her name is Haman Karn. If their federation, the Trojan Horse, should be around here somewhere. Sir. <laughs> he decides to get out of his yellow uh, sweater vest. I get back into the Gundam. Oh no! We're in West Asia Robo right must now. Have been followed. The enemy's got to be that guy, that Gallop ground combat ship, and that new Guf mobile suit. The Guf I love how like match for the gun cannon and gun tank. I bet that is not. Gotta get past I'm, the yeah, I'm guessing there's not just like the exposition. No way this is a video game, the and they're gonna have to like. Like spoon feed like people who are just jumping in and this is it like more dumping, you know? Yeah, it is. Cause the thing is like right now they're technically in Saudi Arabia, so they're gonna have to deal with like the weird muddy climate. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna save this right now so that I don't fucking lose my place. Just because I get fucking absolutely destroyed. Because I'm playing the game right now on like the hardest difficulty. That's like a weird playthrough that I have. I have like a I have I have this one prideful thing I do is I play it in the hardest difficulty. I don't know why. Yeah, look what yeah, look what I got you in three houses. I'm still living though. I'm still alive. Rambaral's attack. Rambaral's attack. Rambaral. This, my friends, is war. Don't let the enemy get near the white base. Man, Amaro, you sure picked the rotten time to leave. <laughs> Looks like we gotta take down some mobile suits right now. I made it behind the enemy. If the white base can hold out, the best option would be for me to destroy that gallop thing first. Oh, what do I do? I mean, you have a fucking you gun in your hand, dude. You tell me what you wanna do. But how am I supposed to let the player figure it out? How are they supposed to know that they're supposed to shoot at it? It's not like they, have, they can see the gun. Dumb. I'm gonna keep shooting at it. I only have 12 bullets left.
you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to zone you out. I'm going to be like them fight. I'm going to be like those annoying fighting game players. I'm going to zone you out. Broke through a shield. Yeah, get fucked. Fuck. Very impressive. But don't forget that you owe it all to that mobile suit. Is that Mike Pollock or like Richard Epcar? That, that is Mike Pollock. You're a sore loser. I do it. They have but really like... old like voice acting legends doing this. You certainly worked hard. That's right. That's the Amaro I know. I got a D plus, but fuck it. I live. This, this, this bitch said that's the Amaro I know. It's a D plus. She expects like, yo, me. Yo, fuck you. What the fuck? How dare you? Regardless of his reason, Amaro committed a serious offense by commandeering the Gundam and deserting the ship. We confined him to the brig as punishment. Rambaral's platoon then stormed the white base and challenged us to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Ah! Hmm? <gasps> <gasps> oh, Bobby, Lady Artesia, it's you! Um... Yes, look at you. There can be no doubt you're Artesia, all right. Do you remember me? My name is Rambaral, the son of Jimbaral, who served in the revolution under your father, Zeon Daikun. <gasps> they know each other. Ooh. I am Artesia. Stop pointing that gun at me. But why are you aboard a Federation vessel? <gasps> Sailor, stand back! Ah! Careless. <clears throat> no! Ryu! They know her under Don't a different wrong. name. Please stop it! Oh, oh. <clears throat> uh, that boy in the Gundam is in my way again. You have fought splendidly, but now you'll see the ultimate fate that awaits true warriors. Whoa, what the? The White Base sustained extensive damage during the attack. Those who had watched the Xeon warrior die could not shake the painful fact that the enemies we had fought against were real, live human beings. Ryu pulled through, but was badly injured. The launch of Operation Odessa grew steadily closer, and we rendezvoused once again with Lieutenant Matilda's supply squadron. Along with our regular resupplies, we were given upgrade modules for the Gundam. However, upon our departure, three terrifying shadows darkened our path. These three guys are something else. Those three guys. Unidentified enemy objects are closing in at high speed. They appear to be mobile suits. The white base and the Medea are under repair. They're both immobile and will need cover. Hayato, you launch in the gun tank. Kai, you're in the gun cannon. Amaro, go on ahead in the Gundam and intercept the enemy. If necessary, Sailor will join you in the new fighter. Sailor is going to join us, but the thing is, like, I would kind of want a weapon that's going to deal with, like, problems right now. So I'm going to go with the Hyper Bazooka. I have a choice of like three different weapons. I either get like a missile launcher, a fucking hammer that can do a shit ton of damage, or a gun that can do damage from afar. But I think the bazooka is going to be more important because it can do damage and also like give people stun lock. So I'm going to deal with that instead. <laughs> Soldiers of Soro. Gonna defeat these soldiers, don't you worry. It's 
good that I can now operate the controls in the upper cockpit. But can I pull this off? Hey, Hayato, you sure you want to go solo from now on? I'll be fine. <laughs> I know you can do it, Sayla. You're a new type, aren't you? Are you trying to be sarcastic? A new type isn't a jack of all trades, you know. Matilda, dude. I am getting a noise right now that's. Oh no, they're getting up on me. But I got you. Oh, they're talking. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. They ain't gonna gang up on me. All three of them are trying to get me. There's more than one. There's Mash, Ortega, and something or other. I forgot his name. They're, they're what they call the Neo Tri Stars. This is something that they don't mention in the fucking game itself. They're like these three characters that show up in like Gundam Muso lore. And because he's in front of me, he gets glitched out. He can't attack me. And he can do fucking paw shots at me. <laughs> All right. Going on in my my thingy. Yeah. Okay. Cuz I'm I'm trying to check the window. Text up and I'm 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 realizing that like apparently the out foxies were not the thing that I'm trying to see. And, and what happened was it is trying to show you something that's not there. I'm trying to check the filters right now and realizing that Maybe a lot of what I was trying to show was probably not seen to the people that is watching this right now. Which is kind of like an error on my part. I'm trying to show the display capture or the window capture. And I tried to transition that to like what exactly I'm seeing. And I just transitioned that to what I want to show. Mm. 
Not 53 pixels per second, but something that's closer to 25. Okay. Hey, hold on. If I move this, would it show what's actually being seen or would I have to close that in order to see what's being seen? Because I don't know, for some reason or other, it won't show what's being shown. And the thing is, I'm trying to show, okay, I'm, I'm trying to show that and I don't know what's being shown here. But what I want to transition to is, um, I guess, display capture. Sure, let, let's go with that. It's being shown. Turn down window capture, transition, display capture. Okay, I guess it's showing what's being supposed to be shown. I don't know how I missed that. Ortega, your ass is grass! Damn it! He's switching to the bazooka! No! I got you! I'm just going in circles. Who else is trying to fight? Who wants um? Oh, there's a goof here. Okay, I guess. Sure, I guess I'll take it down, whatever, not a big deal. They're upset. I'm just destroying this shit. I'm taking it down. I have like a ton of health. I'm just waiting for it to reload. It's done. All right, next. like when you have like a powerful weapon and armored core and you're just fucking deleting enemies pretty much shit he's got an, a weapon too ah, get fucked going with a melee weapon yeah I saw her. I know I did. Is Matilda. The thing is, Matilda's a huge Good crush job, for him. But I can tell. It seems like you're getting further and further away from us every day. Oh shit, character development. Even though you got a high ranking, people think that you're growing apart from the characters. That's not good. The grievous loss of Lieutenant Matilda was a sacrifice far too great. In exchange for her life, we destroyed the Black Tri-Stars, Zeon's ace unit, but the tragedy did not end there. This is the end. <gasps> Amara was saved by Ryu during Crowley Hammond's attack, aimed at avenging her beloved Rambaral. But Ryu's brave act meant the loss of his life. Precious friends were dying in battle one by one. Though we experienced grief and hardship at the loss of each crew member, we were aware this was trivial compared to the colossal battle known as Operation Odessa. We express our sorrow for our comrades who were lost in Operation Odessa. May you rest in peace. All hands salute! You can't see it right now, but I'm saluting as well. If only I were a better pilot. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, Matilda. 
Miss Matilda. Miss Matilda. Miss Matilda. Miss Matilda. Miss Matilda. Operation Odessa ended in victory for the Federation forces. The white base docked at our station in Belfast, Ireland. We had been briefed about the enemy's newly designed mobile suits, operation for our voyage to Jaburo, South America. They're in Ireland right now. Had been detected. Under oh. command of Captain Shar, a Xeon submarine fleet was rapidly closing in on Belfast. <laughs> I like how they're literally just like fast traveling like all over the earth. The enemy really is a lends credence to where they are right now. Mobile suits. The base defense team is retaliating, but we've received a request to lend our support. The Gundam and the gun cannon will intercept any mobile suits that have come ashore. Right. Kai left earlier and he still hasn't come back to the ship. How dare he run off on his own? We can't afford to wait. I'll lead the gun cannon to Hayato. Sailor, you give support from the air. Do not let the enemy near the dock. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Once the gun tank's repaired, I'll send it out with Omer or Joe. Kai isn't coming back, is he? We don't need to worry about anyone who's not here right now. Amaro, when you're ready to take off, I'll open the dock's forward hatch. Roger! It looks like they're depending on me to do stuff. Okay, uh, Diego. What weapon should I go with this time? Should I go with the rifle, the bazooka, or the hammer? Oh, the hammer. Okay. The hammer. It's clobbering time. Let's see how things go. Across the Atlantic Ocean. The reason why they have, like, the little um, after images and stuff like that is because it's supposed to be resembling the the original anime and stuff like that it's supposed to be like a shout out to the show and stuff that's why it has like the little indentations and stuff Sailor, launching. but yeah bro being able to play this in 4k is something else for me if it's like oh my god this isn't a big tv for me the enemy's an amphibious model. Avoid combat along the beach. Yeah, I know. I hate when people do that. It's like you tell them something and it's like, yeah, I know. It's like, no, I'm telling you this because I care. Not because I'm being an asshole. Oh, shit. I think I should probably switch. Okay, yeah, I need to get closer. But if I get close though, it, it's cause it's it's getting close to the thing. Eh? Uh, I gotta protect this like green mark because that's the white base. So I gotta make sure that everybody else is okay. There it is. I see it. Whatever that is. It's like a bomb. I just throw it and people just get hurt. But the thing is, I gotta get like real close. How am I taking too many hits? It's only been like a couple. What the fudge? hurt that badly already? Damn, this shit does more damage than I expected. Good shit, Diego. <laughs> he's done. They're done. He's, he's done, though. They're done. Oh, shit. Let me, let me save. Oh, fuck. I don't want to lose my spot. Fuck. Yes. This is doing more damage than I expected. Holy. This is going to carry me. Gundam carry. Hold up. We just put this. All right. I'm just bonking this guy with the fucking high mouth. <laughs> 
Bonk. Bonk. Get hit! Bonk. What the fudge? Bonk. Oh shit. Bonk. No! Bonk. 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 Get clobbered! Fuck! Bonk. Bonk! Get bonked. Let's go. They're underwater? What the fudge? That looks dangerous. More reinforcements? Ugh, they just keep coming! What? The tank? Hey there, buddy. Like to dance to this tune? Oh, Kai! He came back! <laughs> Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me save this. They're telling me I'm getting close to the, the, the limit to like where I'm supposed to go. If I save that, I fucking get hit, I'm fucked. Okay, after that, it should be just the other guy. Okay, I'm saving this. There's no way he could hit me from here, but I'm saving in part two, just in case. Fuck. Okay, no. No? Damn it! That's not fair! What the hell? Eight, seven times, eight times. Okay, I'm attacking him from behind. He can't see me. Okay, get bonked. Get bonked. Bonk. 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 Yeah, let's go. Okay, he's done. There we go. Looks like the enemy forces have pulled back. The battle's over. Hello. How's it going, Daddy? Roger. Returning to ship. Hey, Kai. I see you decided to come back. I couldn't stand watching you struggle. Nice. Well, that character's probably that one. character has the aura of like. On you. But he looks like he's going to be like stabbing you in the back, but he'd be somebody's the bro throughout the entire series. Like, Kyle, I mean, like eh, he, he's all right. He's all right. I, I've played uh, Gundam uh, Dynasty Warriors and he's he's never really done anything bad. He's just kind of like your bro. Uh, so he just ha so he just unfortunately looks sleazy. Mm -hmm. That's to burrow, but I can't see anything at all. Hey, there. Although we yeah, like, yeah, I remember seeing the character like a character like that in like at Jaburo, Federation I forgot what it was. Our but I remember was it ended with one of the characters. So uh -huh. was about to I keep for I forgot what it was, but I think the ending like everyone freaking dies, and I remember Whoa. seeing a gif where Spoilers. the like uh -huh. where like the little gif was just like whoa, and then you just see like he gets his fucking head sniped off. I was like, I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I read that it was 
actually, well, not that scene, but the series that it came from was adapted into Super Robot Wars. Are you are you sure that's not like a scene from like the Eighth Gundam team or something like that? No, nah, like it's a bunch not of like Gundam. spinoffs and stuff like that. Oh no, it's not Gundam. I think it was made by the guy who worked on Gundam. Oh, dude, they're in Jabudo. You know where Jabudo is? You're both going out in gun cannons to guard the armored hatch in B block. Enemy troops no. have already been dropped. Bro, Jabudo is near inside. like Argentina, yes, dude. Amaro will take Gundam and intercept the enemy task force that's infiltrated here. Ooh. They're Don't fighting the in the motherland. The spaceship dock. God damn. The base defense and then, uh, you know, Amuro just happens to look Argentinian because he's got brown hair and he's a white guy. Warfare. Help them out as much as possible. The only thing is that he's supposed to look Japanese, but he looks like, as as an Asian, like not Asian, Bravo. but like. Mirai, assemble the information from GHQ on the. I don't, I don't want to make yes, the political like assumptions, but you know, like the the, the thing is there. Okay, uh, Diego, what weapon do you think we should go with? There's the rifle, the bonk hammer, and the hyper bazooka. Try the hyper bazooka. Okay, yeah, if we're gonna deal with like enemies like from far away, we might as well do something about it. Okay, let's get it. I don't know, the game is called Journey to Jabudo, so we're getting close to the ending. So we're just gonna finish the entire game here, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't expecting this to be the way that you get Gundam pilled, but here we are. I mean, I, I mean, like I said, I already watched like Unicorn and Iron Blood Orphan. Like I was already oh, kind of familiar with the series. This kind of takes place before all of that. So it's not like in different universes. It's in the same universe. Cause there's Ow. a thing that happens called the One Year War that a lot of these Gundam shows take place during. And uh, this game kind of like details a lot of the stuff that happens in between that. Here we are, Jabudo. Mm. Oh fuck, they're trying to attack you. Yeah, a lot of the Final Fantasy games are on sale for yeah, on they're, Steam. They're, they're doing a, a sale at the moment. Yeah, the, the remastered of um, Final Fantasy VIII, seven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, Final Fantasy VIII is a really good game. I think what's it called? 
forgot about doing. There's an automatic lock on in this game. I have to press L2. Well, I forgot. To yeah, those that. are one of the. Okay, look. Okay, let's talk about stuff like that. Like, ever had a feature that like you forget existed, but like you only rediscover when you're like almost finished with the game. I'm so immersed in the game, I forgot that this was a feature. <laughs> They don't really talk about it, and like, oh, I'm going to use new min or something like that. Okay. Yeah! Oh yeah! Now it's a muscle game! I got to cut people apart! Yeah! No, 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 no. The white devil! I can't go that far. I don't know why. It won't let me go that far. I can't go past the mission parameters. It won't let me go that far. I don't know why. They're boosting! Out of the way! I don't know why. Why is it not dead yet? Oh. There we are. They are in the ground. Enemy troops inside. What the heck? There's a GM here. Whoa, there's a red one! No! Uh, Diego, I don't think I need to explain who that is, right? Could that mean Char's in it? Yeah, that's the, um, mask guy. It's him! He's come back to fight us! It's a red one! Which means it's gotta be Char! Take down Char, Diego. Well, I can remember the main that game is playing, which game. means it's a re it's a really big moment. I can barely hear what's going on. I can't hear the music. Me neither. Where is this guy? There's just some guy here. The ultimate final boss, some guy. Some guy. I mean, the music is like mad triumphant and shit. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck is this guy. Oh, there he is. I see him. It's a red one. It means he's in. He's fast. Oh shit. He died. He, he got me. I could resort to armored core tactics and get him. He's red, which means he moves three times faster. What? We did the same thing. I'm gonna fucking save right here so I don't fucking get molly whopped into infinity. <laughs> we have to do all of that all over again. Fuck. No. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna save on the third spot. to save right now as long as i stay behind him let's go sure <sighs> are my balancers malfunctioning this pilot he actually poses a challenge to me who in the world is he you're not getting away Oh, the thing is, like, um, in this episode of Gundam, uh, Amuro does not take it well. He really wants to get to Shar. The smuggler of Moxen. No, so, like, I literally have my health from earlier. The idea is that he literally wants to get to Shar. Like, he's obsessed with him at this point. This guy literally whopped his ass. He's like, you're good to me, stick it. He was like... I don't even think the other guns are respond to me, dude. Like, Yo, this kid is fucking psycho. Titan. Remember, he's only 15. This guy is obsessed, bro. He does not know how to fucking take a loss. Fuck it.
This guy won't react well when he eventually loses a bitch. Captain Shar, the drop forces have been nearly wiped out. I'll handle things here. Please, Captain, you've got to withdraw. There doesn't seem to be much of a choice. Zeon uh, rats! Gundam, allow me to demonstrate what the Zock can do. Man, he's gonna put him in his place. Yep. You fight the Zock instead of like uh Shar. Zeon needs a man. Like Captain Shar. Well the thing is, at this point, like the principality of Zeon needs Shar to like uh keep the entire um like autocratic force running because he's like considered one of like the main pillars of the um it's like hidden tents <laughs> oh, okay yeah. that's, that's my fault I think you might be stuck. No, cause it, it's an armored core thing. I can I can jump over what the fuck happens and I take more damage. He takes more damage. Yes! Get oh shit, you should save. You should oh. save. You should really save. It's like a fucking boss battle, dude. The red comet, he got away. Amaro, do you read me? The enemy retreated. Good job. You better return to the white base now. Roger. This is why I love this game. Nice work. I had a it's good a fucking battle, battle, dude. Next time I'll be counting on you, but don't. That's Char telling you that you're fucking around. And I went through all nine stages of the story mode. The, the game is supposed to end around here. I guess that's oh, supposed damn. to be the last battle that the game goes through. My new type potential is at D minus. So that's what you've been planning all along? You want the white base to specialize in decoy operations? It is you. My brother Casfall was such a nice person. Who's in charge here? The name's Lieutenant Slager Law, and I've just been transferred to the White Base. Huh? Talk about good luck. I happen to get assigned to the same ship as someone as good looking as you. <sighs> Mira Yashima's the name. Pleasure. <sighs> Skies are clear. White base permission to ascend. Wow, look at those bears! Whoa! Whoa. Beautiful. Yeah. Look over to port side if you have a minute and you'll be able to see a flock of flamingos. That'd be great on video. Well, go ahead and tape it. The Xeon's drop operation on Jaburo ended in failure. Judging from the outcome of this battle, the Federation forces on the Earth were looking ever more victorious. The Federation's main forces would lift off from Jaburo into space to fight the final stage of this war. The White Base, dubbed the 13th Autonomous Corps, would fly ahead of the fleet to serve as a decoy. UC-0079 December 2nd. The fighting has been fierce and it will continue to grow more intense.
What a fucking non-ending this game has. Yep. I'm upset. It's Dude, just like, yeah, fuck? you win. I went through all that for what, dude? Holy shit. Damn, these guys are like, oh, trust us, guys. This game is going to have an ending. And then there's no ending. You fight Makuve and he dies. Okay. But you don't fight... You, you, you don't fight Char. Char gets a battle there, but, like, he's the sub-boss. It's like, what? Damn. I, I, I'd i rather play the Musou game than this. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, Je Diego, they're, 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 they're playing the, the licensed song. So I think <laughs> this video might get... Uh, it, it might get demonetized, bro. The song is called Meguri Ai. Ikunomuni, Ai ga sigateru. Nine ga miroru ezu. Kurobu yoru de. Aete wa etere. If I knew what the fuck they were saying, it would have been an absolute knee slapper, bro. <laughs> Not gonna lie, bro. If I just played this game and I didn't know anything about Gundam, I would probably never want to play anything else again. Really? Yeah. I mean, fuck it. We got Brad Swale in the credits here. And that guy's supposed to be the voice of Amuro Ray. And if you remember him, Brad Swale is also the yeah. voice of uh, fucking Light Yagami in like Death Note. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Amazing the type of changes that he got to. Except by living under the control of Zeon's chosen superior race. We must teach the slow-witted people of the Federation a lesson. One they will never forget. This is the hour for mankind to stand up for the future. Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! This would never get approved in modern fucking day, bro. Between the Federation forces and the Principality of Zeon. Generation of cowards, I'm telling you. This conflict, humankind was on the verge of witnessing a momentous change in itself. Captain, don't do it! Lala! Lala! People are changing. They're becoming like us. Yeah, I guess so. You're right, Lala. Oh, I'm a I can see time itself. Will humanity in the flashes of light? The labor transformation continues. You won't get away, Shore! <laughs> the question is, who will survive? All right, I think that's where I have to step in and once again try to explain something that the, the show does a horrible job at trying to explain.